now, though, we are uh, graced by the presence of the uh, former UFC light heavyweight champ, Forrest Griffin. How you doing? I'm well. I'm well. It's good to be here. All right. You recovered from staff. I, did, I was a little leery about shaking your hand. Yeah, it's only in the earmuffs. The down, the oh, down. no! Oh. <laughs> He's got it on the headphones now. He's borrowing the headphones. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Doug. Didn't tell you about that one. Is it really? Is it in the uh, the cauliflower? No, but I mean, you know, we don't have to tell him that. Well, we just did. That's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's what's taken. going on, man? Not How you much. doing? What's happening? Issues. We get into a lot of important issues. Explode. Well, what are these issues? Well, you have a, a fight coming up. I do. I always do. That's yeah. kind of what I do. Well, they changed it though. Yeah, they did. They did. You went. They switched the the switcheroo on Silvas. Yeah, the little Silvas. Yeah, it's the Jones of Brazil. People don't get it. It's all right. I, I had a ten minute conversation with some lady at the grocery store behind me. I couldn't convince her I wasn't fighting Vanderlei Silva. So finally, <laughs> I just shut up and let her tell me how to fight Vanderlei Silva. I was like, sure, man. If I fight Vanderlei Silva, that's exactly what I'll do, lady. She's arguing with you about fighting. No, she's just telling me how I should fight Silva, but. Right. She's mistaken on which Silva I'm fighting. But was it good advice in case you fight Vanderlei? I, mean, I, mean, I guess, I guess. I mean, I, I take it with a grain of salt, you know. Well, everyone's got an opinion. I was more concerned about, you know, whether my rewards card was working. I don't uh, know. He's a, uh, Forrest is a regular guy, and he's actually over on this side of town. Because um, you don't really do much, do you? I'm a loser. I like it that way, though. I do t entirely too much, to be perfectly honest. I don't. I'm not like a, a go-getter. I think is what they call those people. <laughs> right. Like like Dana White, you know, he gets off the plane, goes to the gym, goes talks to you guys, and goes somewhere else and has like some business meeting. And he's a go-getter. I don't, I don't. I don't dig it. He tries to take me on these trips with him, and like, oh, this is how you do it for her. Nah, man, that's not how I do it. It's, you know, it's time to watch some TV, man. Exactly. <laughs> I saw uh, Chuck Liddell went on a trip to Talladega, and you could just see from the video blog, like, minutes in, he's like, ah, that's enough. <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, it's nice to meet people, but when you have to, Dana likes doing that. Uh, that that's, that's a gift, because to, to meet hundreds of people every day can grate on you. Yeah, well, you got to play the game a little bit, you yeah. know, and sometimes it's genuinely fun, you know. There's, there's a mid-level of uh, notoriety that's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, I like that. that. That's a good way of phrasing it. Yeah. Good level of notoriety. That's it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, I, I seen uh, what was that? Uh, was the kind of the short comedian guy, Rob Schneider, I think. Yes. I saw him shut an airport down, like for real. That guy. How famous is he? He's not that famous. <laughs> yeah. I saw like three hundred people around him. I was like, I don't need to say hey to him. His movies ain't that great. I, <laughs> 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 I get a lot. For, I'll just get get a lot here. I don't know what the hell. But yeah, I mean, if that guy shuts down an airport, you know, you got to think about being famous. You know, like those, uh, those, uh, you know, those baseball guys. Derek Jeter he can't go to the grocery store, man. Not really. He has to have people shop for him. You know, I, I uh, in psychology, we, we read this thing where they like asked famous people like how much a loaf of bread was, and they they had no idea. They're like forty cents, seven dollars. I have no idea, because they don't, you know, they can't even interact that much, you know. So, so what what. Uh there wasn't a point to that. I'm sorry. No, it, it well, actually is a good no, point. It is a good point. What what uh, uh, what can you? You got a cool look about you. Now. By the way. <laughs> I like the hat and black. It's a cool look. <laughs> Thanks, man. It works it? for you. It's, uh, a, it's a that guy guy uh, we talk about all the time. That Mark Delagrati has the same look. So Dave's a fighter like that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it works for him. Joe yeah. Stevenson uses the yeah, uh, Kangol. Yeah, it didn't work so well last Saturday. Were you trying to pick up some ladies? Yeah, didn't do that. You got I, I, take lead balloon. I have uh, a lot of advice about that. I have. Oh well, well what the hell? Let's let's let's, <laughs> let's switch to that topic. I need help at this point. You kidding? Uh, oh no! You see, the uh, the only thing is, what I can't do is go to a UFC. <laughs> That's what I can't do. <laughs> Don't go to fights. Any fights are pretty much. Uh, you know, I better be ready for it. I'm asking for trouble. You know, I go to fights. But uh, yeah, in Canada, Canadians. They're, they're wild. They followed me into the restroom. It's crazy. Like, women followed me in the restroom. Hey, how you doing? Like, hundreds of people. I'm just like, wow. It's pretty uh, overwhelming. But and hence the fighting Canada, Canada popularity. I'm sorry, guys. Here's one other one. It's um, not even a story. Do, I'm uh, do I, you, you guys thought I was the clever guy, too. I'm <laughs> I'm out of it today, man. I'm using every interview as a simple opportunity to amuse myself at other people's expense. 
And, you know, the thing is, is uh, you can do that. You can be surprised how much cussing you can get away with. <laughs> how literally we take it, too, sometimes. Uh, we'll, well buy it hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, you know. Um, but just don't, I mean, don't think I'm not serious about the Scientology, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We know you love it. I didn't. So I'm trying to get into it. I'm kind of late. So, yeah, I was reading the Bible the other day. It really was. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I keep meaning to get a new Bible. I can't really understand what I've got. It's uh, it's the old Catholic Bible. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. But I realized something. You know, all these like crazy like Palin people that talk about Jesus of Nazareth, yada yada yada. Jesus hung out with like the lowest of the low. He hung out with like whores and derelicts. He really did. He was like the most liberal guy of his time. He he like preached against the church and organized religion, and and it's just all this bumper stickers and the bracelets and the people that talk about, you know, Jesus Christ or Jesus of Nazareth, because they think Christ's last name is not, they're idiots. Um, they, 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 they have this totally different view of him. He wasn't a white guy, you know? I, I just, uh, I don't know, it just really amuses me. Jesus was a liberal. Jesus was like the original liberal. Have you been hanging out with Joe Rogan? And he was Jewish. What's going on with you today? <laughs> I don't know. Is this, this is not unusual. Whatever's in my head, I didn't really talk I about it. Mean, That's good. You're actually like, this is a surprise. You're like, oh, there's a video game. I'm like, yeah, there's a video game. That's cool, too. But let me tell you about Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should drop the Jesus stuff uh, on the approach to Philadelphia. I think that'll work well. Wait, that'll, that'll, that'll go over like a lead balloon. What? I don't know. Yeah. I just don't know if that's the best uh, pre-fight talk. It's good now. Nah, You're going to freak some I, people I, out. I could care less. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, I could, but hey, we got the opponent. What the hell? Yeah. No, Good freak out the opponent, yes. Yeah. So, uh, this guy's crazy. If, you know, it's, if I'm wrong, amend me. I'm, I'm not uh, close-minded at all. I'm wrong a lot about a lot of things. Uh, so correct me. You know? No, I'm, we're not going to. I've, I've, uh, I was born to be wrong. I'm not even afraid of being that's wrong not anymore. That's not necessarily being wrong. It's just having an opinion. <sighs> yeah, I don't really care for opinions. Opinion. See, but it's interesting. Opinions are opinions. You gotta give me some basis in reality or some factual content. Opinions are kind of like you know, backsides. Everybody's got one, and most people are crappy and need to be cleaned up. <laughs> All right, very nice. We are sponsored for that, actually. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it does bring up the point, though. We saw baby wipes. That's what it's all about. We saw Dana get in trouble on his video blog for expressing certain things. Do you, uh, oh, about, are you, uh, about the, MMA media uh, and stuff like that, but do, are you at a point well, where you're ever hesitant all, to say yeah. something? You know, I try not to be, yeah. because uh, um, I'm, I'm actually waiting for the phone call from Dana to say, hey, you, you shouldn't have said that, or you can't say that. But I think at this point, um, it's that boring, huh? Sorry. Yes. He just left. He just left. He doesn't even care. That's it's great. great. He, he does that all the time. IBS. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of... But no, I'm I'm still waiting for the phone call to tell me I've gone too far, and uh, probably until I get it, I'll keep. Well, I just you know I say whatever's on my mind. I don't really care. I don't know. I don't, I don't, oh, this is movable. <laughs> what's, I didn't know that. Sorry. What's too far though? Uh, well, I, I don't know. You know what? I, I I try not to make personal attacks on people unless they're uh, deserving. 